And welcome to the first meeting of the National Galleries of Scotland Bill Private Bill Committee. Can I remind all those present, including members, that mobile phones and blackberries should be turned off? He said, turning her own off. Completely. However, committee members may use tablets for committee business as the meeting papers are now provided in digital, digital format. The first item on our agenda is the Declaration of Interests and of Impartiality. In accordance with Section 3 of the Code of Conduct, I invite members to declare any interest relevant to the remit of the committee. And I remind members that declarations should be brief, but sufficiently detailed to make clear to any listener uh, the nature of the interest. In accordance with Rule 9A.5.4A .5 of Standing Orders, I invite members to declare that she will act impartially and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. Um, I would like to declare that I have no interest and that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the National Galleries of Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. I would like to declare that I have nothing of relevant interest to declare and that also that I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the National Galleries of Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. Thanks, Convener. Um, I will also, I have nothing to declare, but I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the National Galleries of Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on evidence and information provided to the committee. Thank you. Our second item is to choose a convener. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish Labour Party are eligible for nomination as convener of this committee. And I am therefore pleased to say that Anne McTaggart is the Scottish Labour Party's nominee for this post. Are we agreed to choose Anne McTaggart as our new convener? Agreed. Agreed. I congratulate Anne McTaggart on her appointment and hand over the chair for the remainder of the proceedings. Thank you, Jean, and welcome to our new committee. I look forward to working with both Jean and Fiona. Um, our third item is to choose a deputy convener. Um, the Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener of this committee. I understand that Fiona MacLeod is the party's nominee for this post. Are we agreed that Fiona to choose Fiona MacLeod as our deputy convener? Agreed. I congratulate Fiona MacLeod on her appointment and look forward to working with both yourself, Fiona, and Jean Markham. It takes us on to the fourth item on our, our agenda, is to decide whether to take item six on the committee's approach in private. Agreed. So we do wish to take this item in private, and it's been agreed. That takes us on to item agenda five. Um, the next item of our business seeks the committee's agreement to delegate to the convener responsibility for arranging payment by the SPCB of any expenses incurred by witnesses. Are we agreed to delegate this responsibility to the convener? Convener? Yeah, that's all agreed. It was decided under item four to take this item in private, um, to take item six in private, sorry. You should, that's us now in private, so I would ask for the gallery to be cleared. <laughs> 